Explorer Fresh and Supervisor. So basically, everything that goes up the mountain goes up through the gondola. It's like the main lifeline to the mountain. So we have everything from the guests, their luggage, everything goes up. All the food, all of the retail products, all of the rentals that get used through the tents. Everything that goes up has to come back down. So all the laundry, linen, everything from the hotel, all the recycling from the mountain comes back down the gondola. It's not just loading skis. There's so much more to what the operators actually do. Chucks. Every morning when we arrive at 6 in the morning, there are station chucks, switch chucks, stop chucks, uh, times and distances are recorded, an inspection cabin is run from top to bottom or bottom to top, and then there's night shifts where we do preventative maintenance chucks, and they're daily, weekly, monthly, biannual, annual chucks, and it's from the manufacturers, from experience that we have with the machine, items, areas that we need to focus on, and by our code. Uh, dictates the safety measures we have to take to keep things running. What are some of the safety mechanisms of the gondola? Uh, there's so many, it requires three computers, three PLCs to monitor them all. Uh, the gondola has a lot more switches than a typical lift with just a top and bottom station. Uh, we have safety systems on the towers watching to make sure the alignment's okay. We have wind systems monitoring wind gusts that will auto slow or stop the gondola and bring it to our attention. We have safety systems in the terminal that make sure the grips uncouple and couple. We also have systems to make sure the cabins are moving along and nothing gets jammed up and if something isn't going right it'll bring it to our attention and there's a computer up here at the drive station that will allow us to investigate further why the gondola stopped. Entering the, the vault of the gondola, the top station where, where everything happens, the electric motors, the diesels, the gearboxes, it's a little noisy so we'll put on our hearing protection and go on in. So this gondola is unique in that it's a bolt drive. A lot of the lifts typically have the gearboxes, engines and diesel motors up in the terminal but because of the size of the gondola we use a, a bolt drive platform which has all the motors and diesels below us. Uh, it allows the noise to be down to a minimum in the village. It also allows them to be a bit warmer on those cold mornings to help us in that initial start when we get here at 6 in the morning. And there's two electric motors, each a thousand horsepower, that couple into a gearbox that hangs from the ceiling of the vault. And if we do lose power, we can switch over to diesel auxiliary backups and they're 1100 horsepower each and we can run along all day fully off the grid. Hi, my name is Kale Cooney. I work in gondola ops at Sunshine Village. Hi, I'm Ella and I am a level one gondola operator here at Sunshine. Hi, I'm Tom, a gondola operator at Sunshine Village, originally from New Zealand. Hi, my name is Phoebe. I'm a gondola operator at Sunshine Village. I'm from North Queensland in Australia. Hi, I'm Danny. I'm a gondola operator here at Bay Sunshine Village and I'm from Toowoomba, Queensland, Australia. We have 6 a.m. start. We do all our switch check and safety checks to make sure everything's running properly. We set up the maze gates the way we should and it just makes it easier for guests to come in and out. Uh, we do lots of zone tests which make sure the gondola is working properly. After we're done all that, we uh, have an inspection cabin come through. We just send an operator with a radio up the gondola to just make sure everything's clear. Never had a problem since I've worked here and uh, as soon as that's done we open up to the public and we start loading skis all the time, all day. <laughs> We've covered a lot of it. Obviously, yeah. you know the people working here, and I'm sure you're finding that too. Is yeah. uh, you meet some amazing people from all over the world. You work with some amazing people. And, you know, we spend <laughs> crazy amounts of time with these operators. We're here at six in the morning. Uh, we're we're working when it's busy. We're working when it's minus 25. So you really get to know people in those extreme conditions, and you really form some really great friendships.
I'm, uh, my name is Kale Cooney. I work on God Think. Uh, that, that. <laughs> <laughs> I. Listen, What do I like most about my job? Uh, so? Yeah, six seasons, which is a long time. <laughs> but I can't say no to the snow. The snow's amazing. 